Now the audio and microphone market has been extremely competitive lately. Godox releases a ton of new microphones competing with other brands and I don't know, things are just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Eventually things are gonna be so microscopic. But the Cube S is a very unique design because not only is the microphone tiny, but the charging case that it comes with is also tiny. This thing features a 10 hour battery life and the case itself is spring loaded. And if you notice within this kit, you also get a little rabbit tail or wind muff to absorb a lot of windy environments. There's also a noise reduction feature, which we're gonna test out. And we're also gonna be comparing this microphone to the Ceramonic microphone that I've used in previous videos as well. And you guys will be the judge on whether or not the Godox is better or the Ceramonic is better. So even though this is a sponsored video, you will be the full judge. And if you care to hear my opinion, it will be at the end of this video. Now within this microphone kit, you do get an included case. It's a very simple case, comes with some cables, such as the charging cable and audio cable, along with the microphone charging case, wind muffs, and you also get some magnetic necklaces and extra magnetic little pieces here that allow you to attach this thing to your shirt. And that's actually another reason why these things are so versatile. It's because you can attach them in so many different places, not only a person, but on objects as well. So in case you need to get some really up close audio for let's say ASMR videos, or you just need some good scratch audio, you can really hide these microphones in a lot of different places. Now the Cubass comes in two different flavors, one with the USB-C version and one with the iPhone lightning version. Now iPhone is dropping the lightning with its new iPhones that are coming out. So USB-C is the way to go if you want my honest opinion. And USB-C works with most modern devices today. Right now I am capturing my audio with my iPad Pro, so that's what you are listening to right now. Both the microphone units come with a built-in battery while the receiver does not. So if you plug it into a device that cannot supply auxiliary power, it will not work. But if you're using a computer that has USB-C ports, this can be an excellent portable mic for awesome voiceover quality. To get the best audio quality possible, I take the audio clip, convert it to dual mono, then I take the channel EQ and I increase the higher and lower frequencies. You can also adjust the gain for volume control. And here is the raw audio that comes directly out of the mic. And now you are listening to the edited audio. There is a huge difference in the sound now. All right, people, so now it's time for a range test. Very simple range test. I'm leaving the receiver here with the iPad. I'm gonna go for a little walk and we'll see exactly how far this mic can reach before it starts distorting and cutting out. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the amount of feet I am away from the iPad during this whole entire test. I won't know how good the range is until I get back into the editing. You guys let me know in the comments section. Wow, there's a very interesting bike right here. How far? <laughs> I'm just babbling at the moment, but hopefully this will give you a better idea of how good this range is. Hopefully my iPad won't get stolen, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still hear me? We are about, what is it? Oh yeah, we're about 300 feet away already. You guys hear me? I'm running out of sidewalk soon. So let me know how good the range is, guys. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? So the Cubass performed very well until about the 500 to 600 foot mark. That's when I started to hear some minor interruptions, but it did pick up the signal eventually. I do consider this line of sight, but it is not an open field. In an open field, you will get much better performance, but this is more of a realistic test since there are minor obstructions such as buildings and trees and even cars. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Okay, so now we're gonna do a more intense audio test with the background noise removal. So right now this is with it turned off and now I'm going to enable it and let's see if you guys hear a major difference. So I'm gonna keep talking, 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 talking. And now it should be on. So let me know if you guys hear a major difference 
in the audio quality if the background noise is just as bad or if it eliminated a lot of that uh, background noise. Let me know in the comment section. I know there's a lot of rambling, but it's just so you guys get an idea of how good this mic really works. Okay, so now for the quick comparison part of this video, we're gonna be comparing the Cube S from Godox to the Saramonic B2 microphone here. Uh, the Godox straight off the bat is about a third of the size. The audio quality, I will let you guys be the judge of that. Godox is known to have really good quality in both their lights and now their microphones. So I won't say anything for this portion. You guys make that decision. But when it comes down to portability, versatility, the Godox definitely wins. So if you're interested in the Godox Cube S microphone, it's a really unique device. Check out the link down below. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And I'll see you in another video. Peace.